Good evening, and welcome to Ursuline College. My name is Lisa Hernerin, newly appointed principal of UCC. Tonight, I'm excited to share with you a glimpse of everything that UCC has to offer your child this September. On behalf of the teaching staff, our department head curriculum leads, and my colleagues, Vice Principals Ray Power, Rick Baggio, and Mary Ann McRae, I welcome you to our virtual open house. Tonight is an opportunity to meet some of our outstanding staff, students, programs, and our facilities waiting for you in September. But before we begin our virtual open house, I'd like to start our presentation the way we start everything at UCC. I will call on two students, Daisy White and Shauna Noe Altman, to lead our presentation with our land acknowledgement, followed by our chaplaincy leader, Thomas Dula, to lead us in prayer. Today we're going to be doing a land acknowledgement that was translated into Ojibwe by Jenny Blackford. Nungwa Damajina Me, Mampi King, Gyu Gabe, Nigan Sigsujig. Today we gather together on the land of our ancestors. Manda Kinamagyu Gameg, Eshkinama Goyang, Nungwa Gizakande, Ma King. This school in which we are educated within today is built upon that land. Me in Nishna Beg, Ed Nizwad, Gyu Chikwa Odawa Palami Ge Pangug. It is part of the traditional territory of the Chippewa, Adawa, Potawatomi, and Delaware nations. Enzo Babeshko Ying, Janad Mad Ying, Uigana Wendamang, Mam Pi Ke. We all have a collective responsibility to look after and take care of the land. Jigana Wendazing Ginwe. To look after ourselves and each other. Ni Gyu Gabe Nigan Zig Jijig Gashin Inda Wendame. Wendemeg Ying, Nikia Gajiganda, Wanda Gwag, Jukendaming, Ginigan, Gyu Ejgen Madzju. It is our ancestors who have charged us with this responsibility to take care of this learning and forward into the next generation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for our faith and the opportunity to grow in mind, body, and spirit. While we continue to grow as Catholic graduates, help us to be open, gracious, hospitable, and engaged in the world. May we strive to be stewards of creation, caring for all people, all nations, all life. And I would like to end our prayer with another message taken from the Ursuline legacy. At UCC, we know it as the Marici motto, and you can often hear it at least once a week during our morning exercises. I hope it becomes your motto and prayer as well. It goes like this. Do something. Be confident. Risk new things. Stick with it, pray hard, then be ready for big surprises. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Daisy, Shananu, and Mr. Dula. Now I want to introduce some more special guests. At this time, I'd like to welcome Director of Education, Mr. Scott Johnson, as well as Superintendent of Education, Mr. Chris Kehoe, to bring greetings from St. Clair Catholic District School Board. Good evening, parents, students, and staff. I am pleased to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees and our entire senior team today. We are honored that you are choosing our Catholic school system and its vibrant Lancer community as a place where your child will develop their character faith, knowledge, skills, and attributes that will prepare them for the complex world that awaits them. We are pleased to see over 80% of our Catholic elementary students choosing UCC for high school. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to those students who are choosing Catholic education for the first time. You are joining an inclusive school where everyone is valued and welcomed. Given the size of UCC and the number of courses that are offered here, 
We can provide you with the breadth of programming to prepare you for any pathway following high school, including apprenticeships, college, university, or directly into the workforce. I wish you and your child a wonderful Lancer experience, and I encourage you to embrace a diverse academic, athletic, artistic, leadership, and faith formation opportunities that await you here. On behalf of St. Clair Catholic District School Board, good luck and God bless to each one of you. I am Chris Kehoe, Superintendent of Education with the St. Clair Catholic District School Board and a Lancer alumni. On behalf of the Senior Administration and Board of Trustees for the St. Clair Catholic District School Board, I want to thank all of the students and families for taking part in the Ursuline College Open House. A special thank you goes out to the staff and to the administration for their efforts to create an open house that gives everyone a sense for the amazing opportunities that await our future Lancers here at UCC. Our history of providing a faith-based education, which offers academic excellence, leadership opportunities, and a wide variety of club and team experiences has been our focus since 1860. Yes, that's right. Ursuline College was established before Confederation. As a Catholic school board, our aim is to work with students and their families so that all of our graduates see the world with a compassionate lens and make decisions that consider and contribute to the greater good of all. We want our students to be future ready and to be an active part of shaping that future. Now, if you're a little bit nervous about starting in grade nine, that's okay. We offer our LINK program and our Head Start program to our grade nine students where you have a chance to connect with our senior students to make sure that you know where to go and what to do on your first day of school. Our senior students will actually call you over the summer to invite you into the school and show you around before school even starts. In other words, you're not going to get lost. You're in good hands. Thank you for taking the time to see our, for yourself our tremendous facility, amazing staff, and all that we have to offer you over the next four years of your education. We look forward to seeing you at Ursuline College in September. Thank you. Thank you, Scott and Chris. I am so excited that you have taken time to join us this evening. Our virtual open house is an opportunity for you, the parents, guardians, and our future Lancers to share why our UCC community has become a place that so many have come to know and love. Collectively tonight, we will share with you a glimpse of what UCC has to offer your child over their four-year high school career. UCC is a wonderful school community with so much talent. As a Catholic school, we pride ourselves in living our school motto, faith, hope, and charity. The administration and teaching faculty are committed to providing high standards of academic achievement while meeting the various diverse needs of our student population. Our fundamental purpose is more than just education. As Catholic educators, it is our call to serve. I want to assure you that your choice for Catholic education is extremely important to us. UCC is home to over 1,100 students. Our large school community means we can offer a wide variety of compulsory courses, numerous electives, and programs for each child's pathway. Again, our large size means that we can offer expansive programs such as our athletic teams, clubs, student groups, and artistic and technical possibilities. Yet at the same time, our caring school community allows us to be small enough to get to know your child individually and learn how we can serve their needs best. We have numerous supports in place here. Everything from special education to student success, pathways, chaplaincy, and guidance. We offer math help, science help, literacy workshops, and cooperative education. One important program UCC offers is Link Crew, which we refer to as our Lancer Link group. Lancer Link is unique to UCC. It is our transition program where every grade 9 student is welcomed and connected to a senior student throughout their grade 9 year. You will learn more about this program in a few minutes. We understand the challenges of a global pandemic have impacted how we engage students and how we deliver our curriculum programs. Regardless of the COVID challenges, we continue to work hard 
to provide students with an exceptional high school experience. Our hope as you walk with us this evening is you will be enlightened to everything that UCC has to offer and the commitment we will share with you and your child throughout their high school career. UCC has the best phys ed program ever. The courses are fun, educational, and challenging. Students have a variety of options within the departments. This year, I'm taking grade 11 fitness and can't wait for grade 12 phys ed next year. I've heard so many great things about it. By the way, the phys ed teachers are awesome too. Good evening, my name is Mr. Denemy and I'm the head of physical education department here at Ursuline College. The slideshow will show you the vast variety of physical education courses we offer here at UCC. From grade 9 to 12, we offer the standard phys ed program that has a variety of sports, team sports, individual sports, indoors and out. In grade 10, 11, and 12, we offer fitness courses and resistance training courses as well. In grade 12, we offer the University Kinesiology Prep course that gets kids ready for all kinds of kinesiology programs and health courses at the university level. We also offer a schism, health and wellness for kids who would like to get certified and head into the health industry later in life. Experiencing the world and people around me is fascinating. Welcome to UCC Social Science Department, where you will engage your mind with exceptional ideas and concepts. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Broadbent, head of the UCC Social Science Department. I'll bet you've been stopped by a train before, but I'll bet you've never been stopped by an airplane. No, these pictures aren't photoshopped. This is an actual airport in Gibraltar, where any time a plane takes off or lands, they have to close the main road and the traffic has to wait. You might say, well that seems like a bad idea, but it's actually more complex than that. Gibraltar, you see, while physically connected to Spain, is actually part of the United Kingdom. They need the airport there so they can move their citizens in. As you can see, Gibraltar isn't very big. When they built this airstrip during World War II, most of the land was occupied by houses and businesses, or of course, the uh, namesake rock of Gibraltar. Building it here was the only spot that made sense, even though it intersected with the only road in and out of Gibraltar. Additionally, there's only a few flights every day, so it's not a big inconvenience for people. So while this might seem like a bad idea at the time, it's actually more complex than that. That was a very brief introduction to what we do in the social sciences here at UCC. The world is complex, but studying the social sciences helps make it easier for us to understand. What we do is we look at the world through different lenses to help make it less mysterious. For instance, when students arrive in grade 9, they'll learn Canadian geography, where they explore both human and natural systems and the intersection between those two. In grade 10, students learn the story of Canada's past, starting in 1914, through both the World Wars and into the 21st century. Also in grade 10, students take civics, where they learn about democracy and government, and they take careers, where they can help choose a pathway for their future. In grade 11 and 12, students have a choice. We offer lots of solid options here at UCC every year, taught by expert teachers. For instance, we offer Canadian law in both grade 11 and grade 12 at the university and college pathway. Students can learn about world history, back from the ancient civilizations of Greece and Rome all the way up until the 20 and 21st century. In grade 11 and grade 12 at both pathways we offer psychology, sociology and parenting courses. These courses are very popular at our school. Finally, in world issues, students can explore a number of challenges facing the world today. And that's just a little taste of how we see the world through different lenses here at the Social Science Department at UCC. Our religion classes spend time in the school chapel. It's a peaceful place to learn, pray, and meditate. 
Ursuline College's religion department strives to encourage character building, service to others, and inner peace by imitating Christ. Hello, my name is Jeremy Zimmer, and I am the religion department head at UCC. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for considering UCC as your Catholic high school of choice. Wait a second. This is the only Catholic high school of choice in the area, and what a great choice to make. Ursuline College is founded on the rich traditions of the Ursuline Sisters. It is an honor to have the opportunity to be a part of their legacy of Catholic education here at UCC. When you come here in grade nine, you will have the opportunity to take our grade nine religion class. In the words of the angel Gabriel, do not be afraid. All of our teachers are going to meet you where you are at with your faith. Whether you've been in a Catholic school your entire life, or if this is their first time diving into a religion class, our staff is prepared to meet you where you are at. The grade nine religion course provides you with much more le than learning about religion. It truly is an opportunity to improve the relationships around you. They allow us the opportunity to grow in relationship with others, ourselves, and with God. There is so much more at play than just attending religion classes throughout your years at UCC. You have the opportunity to give back to our community through acts of service. Initiatives like Lancers for Life, the Rosary Club, Refuge, March for Life, Right for Rights with the Ursuline Sisters, Chatham Kent Goodfellows, Christmas Outreach Dinner, and other various initiatives headed by our classroom teachers, which focus on giving back to the community of Chatham Kent. So on behalf of the religion department, I can't wait to see you in September. Enhance your work experience with co-op. At the Pines, we strive to arrange real-life learning that enables our students to develop practical skills, discover their interests, and gain opportunities for future employment. Co-op is a great way to test drive a career. Hi, my name is Cole Dupie, and I was a co-op student at UOTV Chatham. My quadmaster co-op, I decided to co-op at Kojiko your TV in Chatham because I am very interested in the broadcasting and television field. Here I worked on many local productions and worked hand in hand with their producer Eric Shaw to make all of this possible. While I was co-oping at Kojiko, my tasks were to edit many productions such as the Business Excellence Award. I also learned how to use After Effects to do basic compositing and lock text against the building. At Kojiko we use modern equipment such as the SS5 camera and the Blackmagic ATEM switcher software. At Kojiko Your TV, it is very important to meet your deadlines for your production, which is a valuable skill to have because it allows you to stay one step ahead of the game. This way you don't stress. Some valuable work skills that I developed were the ability to send formal emails regarding interviews to very important people in our community. Some things I enjoyed at Kojiko is when we had the opportunity to shoot out in the public when we did interviews for WhatsApp CK. This experience was very exciting because I had the chance to meet Darren Ken if I was shooting and I learned basic compositing and many other skills that can be used in my future career when I graduate. Overall, Kojiko Your TV Chatham was an amazing place to call up for my quad minister. Immerse yourself in the world of literature. Ursuline College's English Department offers literature that is suspenseful, humorous, and dramatic. Heroes and villains come to life as students study their inspiring journeys with its selected literature works. Oh hi! Welcome to my classroom. I'm Mrs. Foster and I'm the head of the English department here at Ursuline College. Thanks for stopping by in our virtual open house. As you can see, English teachers love books. When you enroll in high school, you'll study English every year that you're here. It's a compulsory course and you'll choose whether you study at academic, applied, or workplace. Regardless of what pathway you choose, your English teacher will help you prepare for the ministry's literacy test. We'll help you improve your reading, writing, and your speaking skills. Do you fall asleep sometimes when you read? Or do you forget what you read as soon as you close the book? We know that happens. We'll help you with that. In every English classroom, we have a classroom library. And from that classroom library, you can choose your own independent reading. We call it the Book It Program. As a class, you'll study novels, nonfiction, plays, short stories. But on your own, you can read your own choice of novel. And between the librarian and your classroom teacher, we'll help you choose. Would you know where to start? Do you have a favorite author or a favorite genre? It's okay. We'll help you pick something we know you're going to enjoy. Well, thanks for stopping by on our virtual open house. I hope to see you next year in grade 9 as a new Lancer. But before you leave, why don't you check out what the rest of the department is reading?
Bonjour. If you're like me and have a passion for the French language, then this is the school for you. We offer an outstanding French program that will guide you through your four years here at UPCC. Happy Todd! Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Culverwell. Hello, my name is Madame Culverwell and I'm one of the French and French Immersion teachers at UCC. I'd like to tell you about three facts and myths about our school and our program. So the first one is UCC is such a big school that students get lost. Well, the fact is UCC is a big school, but after a day or two, you know your way around. Being in French immersion is like being in a small caring community within a larger caring community. Also, we have Lancer Link, so you will be matched up with a Link student, an older student, and they'll show you around. And if ever you need to, some, some help finding your way, the teachers will direct you in the right way. Here's another myth. There is no available, no extra help available. Well, that's just not true. French immersion teachers know that it is challenging learning two languages, and we will go out of our way to help you. If you need extra help after school or at lunch, just ask. We'd be happy to help you. The third myth, French immersion courses are difficult and can jeopardize college and university entrance. Well, no. <laughs> the fact is, the top six grade 12 courses are considered when you apply to a post-secondary education. And we find that by grade 12, students are very proficient in French and succeed very well. Uh, one other thing I'd like to mention is that we hope after COVID is done that we'll be able to offer the DELF testing for our grade 12 students. And this is a proficiency exam. It's totally voluntary. It doesn't affect your marks in any way, but it gives you the opportunity to earn a certificate that is recognized throughout the world and could be just another feather in your cap to get a job later on. We'll see you at UCC next year. A bientôt. It's all about math. Develop the analytical and reasoning skills that are critical in today's changing world. The math department at UCC provides students with exciting programs that help find ways of solving problems, no matter how complex. In practical terms, math offers us the ability to organize our lives and become great communicators. Hi everyone, my name is Peter Cowan, Department Head of Mathematics here at Ursuline College. We know coming from grade eight, high school math can be a little bit nervous at times when you're looking at it. It might actually give you some anxiety. I want you to know that we have 12 dedicated staff members here that are very aware of that and they're there to help you every single step of the way. In high school, you have to take at least three math courses, grade nine, grade 10, and grade 11. We find most of our students actually take four because of interest state or it's what they need to get into college or university. In grade nine math, you'll go through a range of topics that include measurement and geometry, linear relations and algebra, finance, data analysis, those are just some of the topics that you'll take next year. I asked my current grade nines to give you guys some advice for next year. First piece of advice, it's not nearly as scary as what you think. Second, put the work in and your life will be easier. Third, ask questions as soon as you have them. And fourth, go to Head Start in August. You'll hear more about that later. In grade nine math, have fun with your learning. Work with friends, work with your teacher. If you don't understand something, ask questions. Come to Math Help after school. But just have fun with it. It can be a really fun course. Lastly, I'm going to leave you out some pictures of my classroom. You're going to see kids working vertically on boards or the windows. Students really like it, and I really like it as a teacher. It really takes a team approach to solving your problems, and it really builds a team atmosphere within the classroom. Can't wait to see you guys next year.
The name doesn't lie. Because behind these doors, you'll find a host of resources, staff, and expertise that can support you through your journey here in high school. Whether you're looking for support for academic, social, personal, emotional, mental, or spiritual well-being, the Student Services Department is an excellent place to start. When you come to the Student Services Department, you'll be greeted by Ms. Cossack or Ms. Pegg over here. And both of them are available to support you in finding resources that you need or directing you to the other staff available in this department. Down at this end of the department, we have three full-time guidance counselors available to serve you, and they're assigned by last name by alphabet. Hold on a second, maybe that was too quick. Take another look, maybe commit this to memory. Myself, Ms. Bromley, and Ms. Fisher are all available to serve you throughout your four years in high school. And we'll counsel you on things like academic choices, pathways, goals, and anything else that you feel you may need support with. We can also put you in touch with other resources and staff that can support you with other needs. In addition to our guidance counselors in the department, we have some support staff, including a health nurse, our chaplaincy leader, Mr. Dula, and a social worker that works full-time, Ms. Tetzoff. These individuals are available for different types of support, including supporting your mental, social, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Thank you for joining me tonight on this brief tour of student services. We look forward to having you join us in September this year, and whatever your needs may be, do not hesitate to reach out to your student services department. Good luck and welcome, Lancers. Hey, Lancers to be, listen, we all need help sometimes. Come to our 101 or 103 to receive help on every subject. Resource and student success is available to help you with all your needs. Do not be afraid to ask. Hello, I'm Dirk Coverwell, the Department Head of Special Education at UCC. Our department is supported by numerous resource teachers and 13 EAs whose mission it is to support students that have IEPs. Our department is divided into three areas. The first, the resource room, or room 103, is available to any students that have an IEP or enrolled in distreamed, essential, applied, and academic courses, but require or would like assistance with assignments and tests. This room acts like a drop-in center, with myself, Mrs. Pearson, and Mrs. McRae helping students that need assistance anytime throughout the day. The room is also available during the student's lunch hour to receive help as well. Resource teachers also make a point of meeting with the students to discuss the IEP, as well as volunteer opportunities, course options, and post-secondary opportunities as well as provide a chance to complete the transition plan that is part of the IEP. Our life skills program, or Room 807, is run by Mr. Tewin and is for students with a developmental disability who require a significant amount of support. In this program, students are offered our People program, which is our Physical Education Opportunity Program for exceptional students. It's a phys ed program designed to meet the student's needs with support provided by educational assistants and peer tutors. Where possible, students are integrated into the regular classroom programs. This is a balanced program that allows teachers to look at functional life skills, personal care, and support based on the student's individual needs. Our autism program is run out of 805. This is program is run by Mrs. Boss and is offered to students who have been identified as communication autism, as well as some students with a developmental disability. These students are working on individualized programming based on the principles of structured learning. Those students who require a significant amount of support have the opportunity to participate in our people program and other specifically designed course offerings. Finally, the special education department works closely with the guidance department, co-op department, child and youth worker, social worker, and the student success teacher. We select courses, assist in timetabling, and offer support based on individual needs. We look forward to supporting you in the fall and to seeing you as a new Lancer. Hey, did you know that dance class counts as one of the arts credits here at UCC? No, I didn't. Dance class is awesome. Come on down and give it a try. 
no experience necessary. Hello, my name is Mrs. Nicole McEachran, and I'm the Arts Department Head here at UCC, speaking on behalf of my colleagues, Mrs. Melissa Fernandez, Mrs. Lindsay Dunlop, Mrs. Catherine Lacina, Mrs. Rosanna Megliero, Mr. Jim Dipmer, Mr. Jim Brown, and Mr. Jeremy Zimmer. We are all very excited that you took the time to explore the arts and see what UCC has to offer when you come into grade nine. As a grade nine student and future Lancer, you must complete an arts course to graduate. And we recommend you do this in your first year of high school, whether that is visual arts, drama, or music. This can be a big decision, especially if you've had little experience in any of these specialties, which is why we offer a comprehensive course which encompasses all three arts in one semester. So you would experience six weeks of art, six weeks of drama, and six weeks of music. Some of you may already know that music, drama, or art is your passion. So in that case, we would recommend you take a full semester course exploring that subject extensively. We also offer other engaging electives such as dance, sewing, crafts, and guitar later in your high school career. Whatever course you choose in the arts, feel confident that we are here to help you along the way and no experience is necessary. You might be wondering, so what do the arts offer besides getting messy, making noise and having fun? Being part of an arts class is not about being perfect. It is, however, about exploring, making mistakes and learning from them, researching, observing, finding your voice, embracing and accepting diversity because we are all different, appreciating beauty, making connections, seeing solutions, being innovative, and sharing ideas. These are all 21st century skills that you can apply to other courses such as science, math, and English, or even a future job. The Arts Department also offers a range of clubs for you to be involved in after school, such as choir, jazz band, dance team, art club, and of course our outstanding musicals, just to name a few. As a department, we are always so amazed to see the hidden talents blossom and confidence soar in and outside of class. It is proven that when you participate in the arts, it helps you stay connected and in school, increases motivation, improves attitudes and attendance, as well as academic performance. We look forward to meeting you next year and joining in on the fun. Have you seen our kitchen? It's a gourmet dream. During the food semester, students will enjoy a gastronomic journey. You will learn intricate culinary techniques and create a variety of delicious foods. You can always look forward to cooking something great. Hi, my name is Mrs. Series and I am the Tech Department Head here at UCC. I'd like to introduce you to our Tech Department by giving you an idea of what we offer here at UCC. Behind me you can see manufacturing and I wanted to start with that one because if you take the integrated technology program, you'll be in that shop and you'll learn how to use all those machines and you'll be creating projects that you'll get to take home. You'll also get communications where you'll learn photo editing, animation, and video editing, editing. You'll also get a little bit of tech design. You'll learn how to use AutoCAD, Inventor, and do a little bit of 3D printing. In our tech courses, we also offer a high skills major. With a high skills major, Students will be able to major in an area that they know they would like to pursue as a career. Throughout grade 11 and 12, they will get to specialize in an area such as manufacturing. If you know you want to be an electrician, you'll specialize in certain techs. You'll take other courses that will allow you to specialize your program. 
You'll also get Reach Ahead activities, experiential learning, and certificates. All of these will be listed on a record card when you graduate. And in addition, you'll get a red seal on your diploma. We look forward to seeing you here in tech at UCC. There are so many interesting science courses to take. Biology, chemistry, physics, earth and space science, and environmental science. We have cool labs for these courses, and we have our very own Bill Nye and Ms. Fizzle. Future Lancers, I'm Kathy Kovacs Piplato, Science Department Head at UCC. I am proud to be part of the incredible science team at Ursuline College. I work alongside 10 other dedicated teachers who are specialized in various science and math specialties. And whether we are delivering in-person or remote learning opportunities, we can assure you that you will receive excellent support that will meet your learning needs. Part of that support is science help, which we offer before and after school. And with 11 specialized science teachers, you're bound to find that teacher who offers a perspective that aligns best with how you learn. Another advantage to attending UCC is because of our specialized science teachers and a larger student population, we're able to offer over 20 different science courses at all levels. The majority of these courses are offered both semesters, providing you an abundance of opportunities to select those courses on your wish list. We also provide experiential learning opportunities that range from science contests to field trips. We can't wait to show you science in action. In the Grade 9 program, you will be able to study from all four major disciplines, which include biology, chemistry, physics, and earth and space sciences. This will provide you an excellent foundation for when you specialize in these disciplines in Grade 11 and 12. While future Lancers, the Science Department is confident that UCC is the right school for you. How do we know? Because UCC was the right school for us and is the right school for our children. welcome you to the Lancer family. Lancer loud, Lancer proud. See you in the fall. Good evening. My name is Mr. Denemy and I'm the head of the athletic program here at Ursuline College. Tonight I ask you, what would you consider a successful athletic program to look like? Well, we consider ours very successful, and there are three components to our success. Number one is participation. Over 500 students play varsity sports here at Lang here at College each year. We offer the most sports of any school locally, and our slideshow you're looking at this evening will show you the variety and the amount of kids you play. Number two is success. Currently, UCC holds over 12 McKessa Team Championship plaques in our trophy games. We are competitive in every sport. We also support each other. We have a fan base that is second to none. And lastly, we prepare students to play at the next level. Whatever the next level could look like, whether it be college, university, we're proud of our Lancers as they're in the building and after they leave. And we want you to be part of our Lancers team. See you next year.
Hi, Future Lancers! At UCC, we know how exciting high school can be. So our Lancer Link crew is going to help connect you to our school. You're going to have a chance to meet some new friends who will probably be in your classes. And you're also going to get to know some senior leaders who've done high school right. We're going to make sure that you're familiar with the layout of our school so you don't get lost. And we're going to make sure that you know some really important information about how our school works. Like what to do at lunch and where to go if you're late. We're really excited to show off our school today to you. And we can't wait to see you in our hallways next year. Thanks to each of our outstanding departments. Now I want to spend a moment taking you through some of the facilities that we have here on campus. I'll start with some of the construction that's been going on behind this door. Follow me. Welcome to our Lancer Commons. This is our learning space that we're just finishing putting the final touches on that will be ready for your arrival in September.
Well, Future Lancers, you have now heard about all the amazing opportunities that await you here at UCC. Academics, athletics, arts, and all other clubs and social justice experiences. We want every student to find their place here at UCC. Your Lancer life starts now. Thank you for taking the time to join our virtual presentation tonight. We're going to end our night with a message for our principal, Ms. Lisa Harnrein. Well, future Lancers and parents, this brings us to the conclusion of our presentation. We hope that you've enjoyed catching a glimpse of all of the wonderful opportunities waiting for you at Ursuline College. On behalf of the staff and the administrative team, Mrs. McRae, Mr. Baggio, and Mr. Power, we'd like to leave you with a few closing thoughts. Via Piazza. Stay safe, stay strong. Be Lancer loud and Lancer proud. And we'll see you in September. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Cowan. That is my name and I forget what to say. Hello, I'm Jeremy Zimmer and welcome to <laughs> Virtual Indoor Recess. Here's what some of my current grade nine said. Georgia said, I, I have no idea what Georgia said right now, hold on. We look forward to seeing you here in tech at UCC.